Shalom, shalom. Giving honor and praise unto the Most High, the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth. We're going to go over this particular aspect right here within the language. This is coming, brothers and sisters, from the Bible in Genesis chapter 8. Okay? So now, let's look. You have the wow and then the yod with the shawa together spelling why. All right? Why he? Now, if you drop off this wow, you have yehi, which is the aspect of saying let it be or there will be. All right? Or there is to be. Pardon me. You understand? Why he? Now, what this means is and it came to pass or and it was. All right? So as pointed out in the past, this wow serving as the wow consecutive, also serving as the prefix of the word and, when put together, it turns what would be a future tense to a past tense. All right? So just want to point that out. Now, we have... Mequit. Now this mem with the kirik, this serves as the prefix. This means from or of. All right, me quit. So now serving as the prefix, if you were to just look at this kuf in the, zad, in the zade sofi, quit means final or end. All right, E-N-D. All right, and it came to pass of the end of. All right, or from the end of, it came to pass. So this is what we want to point out in this particular aspect. All right, then we have... This right here, Arba'im. Now, this im in this particular case, all right, doesn't per se serve as much as a plural, but as much as one being magnified. All right, so we want to point that out in that particular case. Now, if you have just the Aleph, the Resh, the Be, and the Ayin, Arba, the word Arba means the word for four, F-O-U-R, the number. All right, Arba'im means 40. Okay, so we just want to point that out for reference purposes. Arba'im Yom. Now, Yom means day. Now, when we're showing the magnification of four to become 40, all right? And this is why I point out the aspect of this im not signifying the pluralization because Arba itself means four, the number. F O U R. But if you were to pluralize four, all you would get is fours. So you have one four there, two four there, three four there. You understand. So we want to emphasize what the aspect of this eam is in this particular case. All right. So the word here, yom, means day or time. Okay. So we want to point that out for reference purposes in that particular case. Why he mechwit arba im yom. All right. From the end of, or of the end of, it came to pass 40 days. Okay? All right. Why you talk. Now, as pointed out before, this wild serves as... A prefix okay now in verbs you would normally have this as a future tense word but with the while consecutive this future tense which is normally so word here becomes in the past tense so if you were to drop this prefix off the while with the ah or the while with the aspect of the patak in this case you would have yiftak yiftak means he will open or it will open all right so Yiftak, this yod with the kirik, then you have the pay or the fei, all right, with the shawa. You join it together, you continue reading on. Why Yiftak? And he opened. Okay? So forgot about that. All right? You have no ak. No ak 
literally means comfort or rest. All right. But it's transliterated as Noah. In this case, being a person. Okay. Why you talk. And he opened. Who is he? Noah. And Noah, he opened. And Noah opened. Now, you might have it if you were speaking in like not biblical Hebrew. You might have it to where you can say, uh, what Noah upatak and Noah he opened, meaning the same thing. But because in many cases in biblical Hebrew, you have it to where they're going to put the future tense and then have the prefix of it with the while there, making this normal future tense word into a past tense word. Okay? While you talk Noah, X. Now, this word et, brother, sister, signifies a particular thing. It's not just a random, any old kind of thing. It's a particular aspect. It's a definite, if we will. All right? Et cologne. All right? The word cologne means window. Okay? Et cologne. Hateba. Ha meaning the. The definite article. Teba, which means box or arc in this case. All right. Ha teba. So let's go over this, review this again, and then close this video out. All right. Why he me equates. And it came to pass me equates of or from the end of Arba'im Yom. 40 days why yif talk and he opened noak and noah he opened at definite article showing something that is specific Kalon hateba window of the ark window of the ark so we want to point that out for reason and purposes okay so give an honor and praise to the creator maker of heaven and earth if there's any questions please feel free all right the contact number i'm going to say it verbally 908-587-4841 908-587-4841 shalom